Vagabond Adventure Pictures present Mr. Tom Terry, who, on account of his wanderings in foreign lands, producing motion pictures, has gained for himself the name of the Vagabond Director. And today our Vagabond will take you to southern Spain. Well, here we are gazing upon the glorious Alhambra of Granada, one of the wonders of the world. An object of devotion to every true Spaniard. Ah, how many legends and traditions and ballads of love and war and chivalry are linked to this oriental magnificence. It was once the royal abode of the Moorish kings who held dominion over what they wanted as a terrestrial paradise and where they made their final stand for empire in Spain. Its exquisite carvings and decorations, inscriptions, all tell of the power and glory of its former master. Through this passage, one approaches the Court of the Lion, a part of the Alhambra rich in glorious tradition, where colorful mosaics decorate the roofs with pale soft blues and faded terracotta that make the most exquisite harmony. In its halls of splendor, gallant knights competed for their ladies' favor, fighting duels for love and honor. Here, Boabdil, the last Moorish sultan, defeated and disgraced, mingled his tears with this fountain, weeping as a woman over what he could not defend as a man. This court of mercy, with its silver pool and beautiful walks, once rang with stories of battle, songs, and love. Here the Arabian nights were lived over and over again. Ah, how regretfully I left this lovely spot, arriving soon after in the ancient city of Cordoba, crossing this Roman bridge, centuries old. In the distance is the old mosque, and a great fiesta was going on as we arrived, the town on fate, with banners and decorations and hundreds coming in from all parts of the country. A cattle show and bull fights, with many of the finest matadors in Spain, the big attraction. Goats bringing in milk and bullocks and sheep, and more goats tied to the horse's tail. And cattle, I never saw such animals in all my life. And everywhere miniature bullfights with the Duke of Spain throwing the bull. <laughs> The animal almost getting the best of it, though. It was more like a football scrub. Hello, there was one lost all his ambition. Quite a mix-up. Well, that was enough for the young bull. He bowled them all over and was away. Cervantes said there never was born a Spanish woman, but she was made to dance. Here are some katanas. They're gypsies, you know. Always with the big, colorful rose and the thick, black curl on the forehead. They dance at all ages. No matter whether it's the Bolero or the Malagueña, every one of them is an artist. With the little wild cat was the entire family, father and mother and grandpa and grandma and goodness knows how many other relatives. Guitars, drumming, fingers snapping, everyone dancing with shouts of Oye! They all wear red roses in their hair, even little sister here, the pride of the family. And they ah who seems to resent being all dressed up. No one paid the slightest attention to her. And from here I strolled through the streets of the town, to my surprise finding them practically empty. I wondered why, until I found everyone was off to the bullfight. I decided to go, but as there was plenty of time, I, I first visited a carpet factory, where they were weaving the royal carpet. They begin this book as young children and grow older. Just look at this girl. Her whole heart is in her task. It doesn't matter whether weaving carpets or making gorgeous mantona shawls. Why, the finest machinery in the world couldn't duplicate the delicate skill of those hands. This boy is drying the wool. And as they all work, a man engaged by the factory sits on a raised platform and reads the latest news of the day. In this way, their task is lightened. Sometimes he bears it with funny stories or a romance, on which, of course, every Spaniard dotes. Leaving here, I passed through the dark, narrow streets again and met the bread boy with his faithful donkey. At last, I had found one who would not be at the bullfight, trying to sell his loaves of bread, poor little fellow, just to earn a couple of pesitas. And rounding the corner had the surprise of my life. An excited mass of holidaymakers, all moving in one direction, for the Plaza de Toros. Carriadors in their brilliant costumes. Picadors pushing through the dense crowd followed by the Aguazil. It was so hot, boys were selling fans. Abanicos, a pera chica! Gaiety, life, color everywhere. 
senoritas arriving with their cavaliers. And inside the arena, the stands crowded with a mass of excited humanity. Around the amphitheater, a line of boxes draped in gorgeous colored mantles. Everyone waiting eagerly for the entrance of the quadrilla. The burst of music, a tremendous cheer, and they enter. The matadors, gorgeous in satin and gold, and following them, picadors and mules with their jingling bells. And in the boxes, black-eyed senorators watching them, with hands fluttering and hearts beating, and sparkling eyes following eagerly every step of their favorites. As to the martial music, they walk proudly across the arena. Ah, the senoritas, how their pulses beat as they wait for Spain's greatest fighter, a matador who defies all traditions and customs, dressed in an unusual costume, fighting the bull from his horse, alone, prancing his animal across the stretch of white sand, offering his challenge to the bull. The gates open, a brute comes tearing out, and the fight is on! Viva Tumani! Ahora! Ahora! Muevete! Muevete! No, no, never does he allow the bull to touch the horse. It's not valuable to him, a priceless animal. Look! Look, it answers his slightest touch. Understand it like a human being. Ahora! Ahora! Muevete! Muevete! They cry. The crowd's going mad. than ever as they watch the amazing display of skill. To the young and the old of life, this man with his splendid horsemanship and his daring is a hero. And once more, the bugle blows. And another bull enters the ring. And a matador, this time in the more familiar satin and gold advances, now commences the chapel. A fast known as the Valencia. Graceful work, isn't it? A sort of preliminary fencing between the fight and the beast. Here the matador has a chance to show his daring and his skill. Ah, but watch, sometimes, sometimes he becomes too confident, and then he pays the penalty. It is finished. Now the fight is over. Now ah, the crowd in the street are soon forgotten. Laughing and jostling are on their way. Ah, the chimes of Andalusia. In your fair province lies the soul of Spain conquered from the proud moor. Wherever they may be, her sons sing of her glory. Of Spain who once ruled the world, and who still rules with the magic of her spell, the charm of her music, the fire of her dance. Viva! Ah, España!